All right, so we were at another Target, and uh, we got the Hall Fun stuff, and they got the Prey. I'm definitely going to get this. This is cool. <laughs> Got our first target of the week and they actually has some decent stuff. Uh, some wrestling, not much, but it's got Otis. I've never seen him in a store. Yeah, I need that solo from this series. Let's see. There's no chases in here, but some new Star Wars Black Series. $25, ridiculous. I actually haven't gotten these two, but I'm going to pass on them, I think. Vader. It's a nice Mando with the uh, dark saber. It has Vizsla. on this side but I actually see that they have um, one of these carts with a bunch of toys that they have to unpack so maybe tomorrow Check NECA here. See if there's anything new for NECA. Hmm. Not really. In the story, there hasn't gone the Holothon stuff yet, or it's gone. Well, that's cool. See if there's anything I need. Not really. Hmm. Oh well. Next door. So this is an interesting cart. There's just a lot of random stuff. Not sure about this guy, but pre Transformers guys. Some random Legos. What's that for Legos? 501st. Let's see what else do we got here. What is this? That's cool. From episode one. Oh. And they also have. Hmm. It's kind of Boba Fett figure, so that's kind of cool. Now to the next door. Right, here we are at uh, another Walmart. And what do we got? Transformers. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like that. These are nice. Hmm. Oh, the heat ray. Godzilla. That's pretty cool. Let's see what we got 
left for Marvel Legends. Not too much. No, not too much. Cap, Iron Man back there. Oh, what's going on here? New superpowers. We need him. I might grab him. That stroke, that stroke. <laughs> I don't know. I really enjoy this line. I might be in the minority. <laughs> Some Star Wars, Vader. Yeah, these figures are not half bad. I mean, I don't love the packaging. I mean, they're intended for kids, but the figures themselves, if for some reason somebody's jumping into Star Wars right now, it's not terrible. Uh, a bunch of Cad Banes back there. There's some Dua. What's happening with wrestling? <laughs> this Walmart specifically is just terrible for wrestling, but um, I am gonna snag this. That's kind of cool. Right, let's I'll check on NECA. I also just filmed this cold ship. <laughs> wow, this thing's tiny, but. I'm gonna grab it. It was uh, up there. All right, so they had nothing at neck up, and I'll take a look at movies. See if they got anything new. Oh, they got Silent Night, a Steel Book. That movie right there, Roland, Cell Block 99, it's great. Cutthroat Island. Swim just came out. Heard that was decent. I kind of want to see that ISS. Seemed like an interesting uh, premise. When there's nuclear war that breaks out on Earth and people on the um, in space are the only ones that are like, basically left on the space stations. Oh, they have Titanic in 4K. That's uncommon. Let's see. Anything interesting here? That's some decent movies. An Exorcist, uh, Believer, the new one. That's interesting. Abbott and Costello meet the Monsters Collection. I remember watching those as a kid with my uh, grandfather. RoboDoc. Documentary about uh, the making of RoboCop. Sadly, Walmart is the last oasis for physical media. And they have a decent selection. 
it's it's not terrible. All right, that brings us back to the beginning. Next door. All right, so we were at another Target, and uh, we got the Hall Fun stuff, and they got the Prey. I'm definitely gonna get this. This is cool. Got all the turtles. Got the four pack. And most of the stuff. It's cool. I like this Usagi, but I definitely wanted this Prey. This is awesome. Let's see. Oh, looks like they got some new G.I. Jones. Anything? I got some new G.I. Joe's at least to look at. That's a nice Duke. So, what do we got here? Uh, nothing new. Anything new for Star Wars? which is new, that Mando. Hmm. That truck's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, for like those backstage brawls, that kind of thing. So we got another Walmart, and there we got some WWE, not much. This is new, what else they got in the two pack? Oh, Sean and Bulldog, Liv and Rhonda, Rock. Julian, have you seen this? That is nice. Yeah, I got that actually from ringside a while back, but it's the first time I'm seeing it in the store. Anything besides those two? Alexa Bliss. Yeah. New Vader. When are these going to drop to five bucks? <laughs> That's what I want to know. When are they going to drop to five bucks? When they drop to five bucks, I am getting them all. <sighs> I 
I know some people don't like them, but I, I don't know. I, I think they don't look too bad. I mean, they're different, but similar. I don't know. Anything? What's this? really new here. Now let's check that guy. I've not seen that before. Okay. Right, so here's NECA. Mm, not too much going on here. Oh. I've not seen this before. Interesting. This one has a little bit, not much. Here's the QR code for this. If you guys are interested. Anything behind Trish here? No, it's all Trish. I heard her last week. Lovely lady. This one. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. section but uh, there's no holothon here but it's pretty stacked which is cool to see batman slash gordon that's pretty cool he does cons all the time so it'd be a good figure to grab if you want to get a signature like the Robin and stuff. Yeah, those are cool from the animated series. Yeah. Okay. So we stopped at um, 
big lots, and they didn't have anything for toys, but they got some decent stuff for uh, um, movies, like cheap. Like this is 4K, 899. So, anything else decent? Called the Chucky, 4.99. The first purge, five bucks. It's a good movie. I might grab that actually. Star Trek Beyond. Three ninety nine for a great Mission Impossible movie. Let's see. Anything else in here? How many times the theater? I saw all of them multiple times in the theater. Great movies. There for the plot. Forrest Gump. <laughs> Top Gun. Oh, wow. Look at that. Seven ninety nine, both of them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not getting it. Imagine going back on all those years ago and finding that work just like that. Yeah. Steelbook of Jack Reacher. Some decent stuff. This is a great movie. That one there. A oh, true detective. Oh, the third season. This was the best one, actually, I thought. Watch that on HBO. <laughs> Punky Brewster. The complete series. Oh, Foot loose. Like Timber Lake, yeah. Oh, jeez. Sean Mendes. Okay. Yeah, uh, Sean Mendes. Yeah. I'm smoking your bandit. Okay. Decent stuff. All right, let's head out. All right, so we're at our final Walmart of the day. And... Oh, uh, that's Jericho, yeah. Trish. Got a couple of those older brats. Yeah. Yeah, got some Star Wars. I like this figure. <laughs> that time retailers were trying to sell these brats for a hundred bucks a pop and now they're everywhere again. Yeah. Four bucks. So, guys, what do you think? I have a ton of the superpowers figures, like a ton of these, and I kind of like how they look on card. But do you think they'd be worth opening them up and doing like some kind of display? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Because I got the vehicles, I got the Batmobile. Um, I don't know, I'm going back and forth on it. So, let me know what you guys think. A bunch of turtles on the ground. I don't know what happened here. Oh, it's just regular ones. Right, look what we got here. Magneto. That is fantastic Magneto. Guys, have you been watching X-Men 97? Like, incredible, incredible show. 
probably one of the best cartoons in a long, long time. Let's see, yeah, nothing really up there. Anything new for Transformers? The Fallen. It's a nice star screen. So let's head out. All right, guys. So welcome to the pickups portion of this week's video. And this pretty much encompasses everything that I've gotten over uh, this week and last week that is not wrestling related. I did the wrestling pickups with my last video uh, showing what I got at the con, stuff that came in. Um, over the last week or so. So this is everything else that came in this week and also what I found in the stores. I actually did have a few pickups in the stores this week. So that's what I'm going to show. Uh, before I go any further, please be sure to comment, like, and most importantly right now, subscribe because I am this close to 2,000 subs. Uh, as of the filming of this video, I am at 1996. So I'm just four subs short of 2,000. Uh, so hopefully we'll get over the top in the next couple of days. Hopefully this video kind of pushes it over. But without any further ado, let me just jump into uh, this week's pickups. And uh, this I kind of got on a whim because I've been following a lot of uh, autograph groups, things like that on Facebook. Fitterman's group uh, popped up with uh, an advertisement for Mike Tyson signatures. So I clicked on it and immediately I was like, I'm such a mark for it. I can't even help it. I'm fully admitted. Uh, I had to get this. It is a Mike Tyson signature on a Mike Tyson's punch out kind of picture. What I'm thinking is I'm going to get like a shadow box for this and put it inside the shadow box. And I also have a storm collectible Mike Tyson figure, which I'm, I'll probably put in there you to display. So I think it's going to look pretty cool. So got, this came in this week. Uh, let's see what else came in. Oh, this is awesome. The Transformers Optimus Prime Missing Link. This is like the MP version. So this is uh, ultra poseable. Even though it looks like the original, this is very poseable um, and very articulated. So yeah, this. It, but I'm gonna keep it in the box. I'm I'm a sucker for these uh, Optimus Primes. But apparently, you can. Uh, it's much more poseable than the originals. So very happy to add that to the collection. Gosh, I can't even remember how long it's been since I pre-ordered that. It's probably been close to a year at this point. So next, a couple Star Wars Black Series figures came in. Uh, I've been very uh, choosy as far as like what I'm getting. Uh, Black Series has been a, honestly kind of terrible I would say over the last maybe six months, just very uninteresting characters from The Mandalorian, from Andor, uh, Book of Boba Fett, like from the series, or just, I don't know, I, had, I, I wasn't feeling them. But these two figures, I was feeling. So the first one is Padme Amidala from Episode 1. So that one's pretty cool. I, I think this is only her second uh, Black Series figure, so... That's cool. And this one I was very excited for. It is Starkiller. Now I have the three pack with him and the Stormtroopers, uh, which I will keep sealed. But this one I'm going to open up and display. So Starkiller. Uh, next, uh, you guys saw me find this at the store uh, at uh, 
at Target, it's part of Holothon actually, is this Predator Prey. Now this thing is really cool looking. It is really, really cool looking. That's yeah, pretty sweet. And unfortunately, the glare uh, kind of doesn't do this figure justice, but it looks, it's translucent, it's covered in blood, uh, so it, it's really neat. Actually, I was thinking those uh, Star Wars Black series that with the hologram, with the holograms, uh, it might look really cool to put this on top of one of those holograms. So I might actually grab one of those figures just for that purpose. All right, so what's next? I picked up a few uh, superpower figures uh, from McFarlane at Walmart. Uh, first one is this Green Lantern. And I'm very, I don't know, I'm kind of debating whether I should open these or not. I really like these on card, but I think they'd be fun to open up and display too. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I got like most of them so far, not all of them, but I got a good amount of these figures uh, so far. And I, I don't know, I think it would be kind of fun to display in uh, Brainiac. But they look so nice in my opinion on a card because they have that original superpowers feel. Um... I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. And I also got the Skull Ship. I actually passed on the Blue Beetle. So, so anyways, guys, that is it. Um, that is this week's uh, pickups that were non-wrestling related. Those were in the last video. Uh, let me know what you guys have been finding. I, I did come across some new G.I. Joe classifieds at the stores uh, this week. Seems like uh, new stuff is kind of slowly trickling out. Uh, Ollie's I did make a stop at, but there was nothing new. Uh, some Ollie's are getting those uh, four packs in apparently that... Uh, Target had not that long ago. The ones with uh, Hogan with the green belt, uh, the Rocky Maivia, the Stone Cold, and the Becky Lynch. Uh, those are, for some reason, actually showing up at uh, Ollie's for whatever reason. 30 bucks. So I might pick up a second one you know, for myself just to open for 30 bucks. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for the ongoing support. Again, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys have been finding. Until next time, take care.